Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first update for the Lucy. You have some panning to do. Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab and it was created by, by, by my girl Amanda. <sighs> and it is 10 products. We had a huge list of um, TV shows like good old TV shows. I think it was maybe a Nick at Night. I can't remember. And um, yeah, we just had to pick 10 out of that list, pick products for them and get to panning. And that's what I did. I have been panning like crazy and I actually have one empty this time. Only one, but I'm okay with it. I'm totally okay with it. This is for the TV show Gilligan's Island. I loved this as a kid and I chose the, what is this officially called? The Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. So Tidal and Water, of course, that is the whole Gilligan's Island thing. It is this tiny little guy right here. It actually lasted a few weeks, and I just finished it. All gone. I loved this. I, I feel weird saying that about a facial moisturizer because my skin hates most of them. I really like this one. And, of course, it's Sunday Riley. It's good stuff, but even some high-end stuff that I've tried, my skin does not like it. It really liked this a whole lot. So that might be something that I will have to purchase again in the future once I get through everything else that I have, and I have a lot. But that is definitely going on my list to purchase in the future. So if you guys have really oily skin and problems with your skin absorbing, this, this might be a good option for you. All right, moving on to Three's Company. Yup. That was a good show. I watched that a lot as a kid too. I chose the Ulta Beauty Twisted Volume Mascara because that's a twisted relationship that they have going on. So I can't show you progress, but I am using it. I will show you what it looks like on my lashes. Hopefully you can see it. Is it absolutely amazing? Holy Grail status? No, but I like it a whole lot better than the the pink one, whatever, I think it's Maximum Lashes by Ulta. I like it a lot better than that one. And um, I don't, I just started using it in the last few days. So I'm not sure if it's at that point where I would purchase it again or not. And I don't know. I don't know, but I do actually like this one. So, or I didn't like the last one at all. All right, moving on. So this doesn't take forever because I, I talk so much. Um, I love Lucy. And who doesn't love Lucy? I chose the Joyal Beauty Vitamin C Serum for the Vitamita Vegemin episode, which if you haven't seen that, you got to watch it. It's hysterical. This was new when I started and I am here at this red line. And yeah, I like it. I love the pump on that. I think when I am finished with this one, I might put this pump in some of the other like I have another couple of serums in this project and I, I might just switch the pumps out because I prefer that over the dropper. For I Dream of Genie Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, I haven't touched it at all. Nope, I just, I've been working on so much other stuff, but I, you know, I've got another, what, five months of this project? I am not worried. I go through powder like there's no tomorrow. Leave it to Beaver. I chose the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum because perfect and the cleavers are the perfect family. Um, I only used this once or twice. It was brand new and now I'm at this little red line there. I like it. Is it amazing? No, but it, it's nice. All in the family. Mm -hmm. That show cracked me up because it's so absurd. Um, I chose the Equate Scrub. This is the Blackhead Clearing Scrub. Gently exfoliates to remove dirt and oil. I chose this one because, you know, Archie Bunker is pretty abrasive with his humor and just everything about him is abrasive. So I thought, you know, an exfoliator, perfect. It was brand new when I started and I am right here at this red line. Moving on to Sanford and Son, another show I watched as a kid. I watched all of these as a kid. 
I'm old. What can I say? But I embrace it. Age is a number. Um, I chose the Bare Minerals Gold Gossamer because he's always looking, you know, for that, that golden opportunity. And I have used this. I am not wearing it today. I need to press it because it's so much easier to use when it's pressed. Um, but I have used it. I probably used it maybe six or seven times. And I will be pressing this very soon. And I will be filming me pressing that because everyone wants to see, not everyone, but a lot of people have requested that I do a video how I press my mineral makeup. All right, moving on to Green Acres. I chose the Kiva Tea Tree Oil Acne Serum because it's in a green package. And I did not draw a new line. I started at this red line and I'm just below it. I probably could put a line, but it is so close. It's not even worth it to me. My three sons, I went with the Buena Skin Triple C. This is a vitamin C serum, but triple for three. And let's see, I am still right here. I have not used this at all. This is where I started. Oh, this one breaks my heart. Laverne and Shirley, Penny Marshall, God rest her soul. Um, I chose the Coastal Scents Hot Pot in New Penny, specifically for Penny Marshall. My goal is to hit pan, and as you can see there on the edge, I'm getting real close, and I'm excited about it. I love to wear this. I probably wear this three times a week, and I enjoy it. I enjoy the heck out of it. I have a feeling once I hit my goal on that, it's going to end up in another project because I really want to keep working on it. Okay, for the Jeffersons, I haven't used it at all. I chose the Perfectly Posh Fallout Girl Soap. It is still in there. Haven't touched it. And for the Beverly Hillbillies, yeah, I've touched this one quite a bit. Um, I chose the Pond's Rejuvenest Anti-Wrinkle Cream because Pond's Cement Pond. If you haven't seen the Beverly Hillbillies, you wouldn't get that. It was brand new and... There it goes. You can see I have used a, a fair amount of it. This one I like. My skin doesn't completely hate it, which is a miracle, but I'm not sure if this is going to keep working for me. I do have a little bit of breakout here, like on my jawline. I'm not sure if it's that or hormones, because you just never can tell. Um, stress sometimes will do that to me. I am going to keep using it and see if as like my stress and my hormones calm down to see if my skin is still happy. And that is it. That is everything for this update. One done. One out of ten done. I still got nine to go. Um, I'm not sure what I will have done for the next update. I suspect that this will be done or, you know, I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it. That's what I'm going to do because, you know, I like to throw my things. Um, I suspect I will have hit pan on this by the next update. Um, I don't know if I can finish anything else. Maybe one of the serums. I'm, I'm working on the Kiva and the Joyal right now. This one's tea tree, so I use it when I'm breaking out, and I use a regular vitamin C serum when I'm not breaking out. Maybe one of those will be done. I don't know. Maybe the soap. I don't know. I do think I'll have at least a hot pot at goal by the next update. So at least I'll have something, some kind of progress. All right, let me wrap this up. Everyone that's joined in, of course, they're going to be linked down below. Go check them out and show them some love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.